Well, let's talk about fiber because you mentioned that one as a concern or at least a point. Um, what are you thinking there? Because when I've done dug, dug into this, you know, there's evidence that fiber is helpful in some situations, but a lot of those studies are comparing it to standard American diets. You yeah. know? Um, and so it's always the question, what is fiber compared to? And as you know, there are studies showing that the removal of fiber can improve idiopathic constipation. And I've talked about this many times in the past, diverticulosis, cancer. There's really not a whole lot of evidence here that fiber is beneficial. So um, people talk about the microbiome, but you know, perhaps I jumped the gun there. Well, maybe, yeah. So maybe uh, we should actually even step further back and just say fiber and talk about the microbiome and the relationship between like a ketogenic diet. I mean, there are no studies that I'm aware of of a carnivore diet's effect on the microbiome. Oh yeah, there are. Are there? Absolutely. Yeah. So the study is called, um, it is called diet. Where did they find these people? (laughs) They did it at Harvard. So um, diet rapidly and reproducibly alters the gut microbiome. It was done in 2014 and published in Nature. So pretty fascinating. And it was only, um, it was a week long, but they could see changes in the microbiome over the course of that week. So they had uh, a plant-based diet in one group and then a carnivore diet in the other group. And it wasn't even a well-constructed carnivore diet. I don't know what the methionine glycine ratio was. I don't actually know how much collagen they were getting. As I've talked about in the past, it looks like animal collagen, and we know certainly animal protein can be fermented into short chain fatty acids that, are, yeah. that can serve as fuel for the colonic epithelial cells. So yeah, they had the, the limitations of the study are that it were only a week, but they show no decline in the alpha diversity in the carnivore group. They had an increase in beta diversity, and they show an increase in bile acid tolerant organisms, which you would expect on a diet that increases Certainly. bile. Yeah. yeah. And so they, they make the statement in the book that, in, or in the study that that it seems plausible that the human microbiome can shift uh, based on patterns when humans are having to rely on what they call fallback foods. And I just, I appreciated that because I think of plants as fallback foods too. 